Hey guys, what's up? It's me, iPod Touch Helping, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to jailbreak your iPhone 3GS, iPhone 3G, and iPod Touch 2G. Uh, you will need to be pre jailbroken on 3.1.2 or 3.1.3, and you must be uh, pre jailbroken without um, Spirit. So if you guys did the Spirit jailbreak, you cannot do this jailbreak. And if you are not jailbroken on 3.1.2 or 3.1.3, you cannot do this jailbreak either. So first things first, you're going to want to open up uh, internet and you're going to go to this website right here and you're going to click download Snowbreeze. This, the website is ihatesnow.com and I'll leave a video link in the video description. And after that, you're going to want to open up Red Snow, which, or sorry, you're going to want to open up Snowbreeze, which you just downloaded. And you're going to want to click OK. And here's the first thing you do. You, you open up uh, the 4.0 firmware that I'm going to get you guys to download in the video description. So you click Expert Mode, click the blue Next button, and then you click Browse. You have to browse for the file. So here it is right here. That's my IPSW file for my iPod Touch 2G. And here, here it pops up. Has detected this device cannot be jailbroken on Snowbreeze unless it is already jailbroken. And so I already told you guys that, and this it cannot be an MC model, must be an MB model. Uh, and like the, for the 3GS, it, you must have the old boot ROM. And also, like I said, if you have the Spirit jailbreak done on your iPod, you cannot do this. So you click I understand, and you're going to want to click Next. And now that you're here, what you guys are going to want to do is click General. So let's double click that, and I'm going to enable background wallpaper, enable battery percentage, Enable multitasking, and I'm going to not check that. And I'm going to click Next right here. And I'm going to want to install Cydia, so I'm going to just do that. If you guys want Rock, you can also click Rock. And you can put in sources and packages that you want. I'm going to use both of these uh, files here, or both those pictures So I on my custom firmware. You're going to want to click Next, and then you can click Build IPSW, and now it's going to build the cu new custom firmware for your iPod Touch or iPhone. So uh, this does take them some time, so I'm going to just pause you guys here, get back to you guys in a sec. Now that Snowbreeze has finished doing its thing and creating the IPS IPSW, uh, you guys can now read this. It says connect your iPod Touch 2G or iPhone into DFU mode, and then uh, which is recovery mode, and then uh, hold shift and click on restore and upload this new custom firmware that you guys just made. So now we're going to open up iTunes like you guys can see right here. I have iTunes open, but uh, I made it so you can't see everything. And, but one more thing, guys, on your iPhone 3G or 3GS, if you want to unlock it, uh, you must make sure that uh, you checked off Hacktivate this iPhone. All right. So now that we're here, what you guys are going to want to do is put your iPod Touch or iPhone in DFU mode. So hold your power button. Full, first, fully power off your iPod or iPhone. Then hold the power button for three seconds. Then hold both the power and home button for 10 seconds. And then release uh, the power button and hold the home button for 30 seconds. So make sure you do do that. And then it should say connect to iTunes. And then what you guys do is hold shift, then click on restore. And here we go, and now we have to find that custom firmware and uh, that you guys just created, and you guys are going to upload it. And then your iPod Touch or iPhone will be jailbroken on 4.0. So hopefully you guys like this video. If you want me to make more videos like on the computer so it is better quality, just let me know. And I'll catch you guys later. This was iPod Touch helping. Peace.